Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Sleeping morning at the beach is when I needed it. <laughs> Sarah needed a little salt water. It's all a little bit too much for me this morning, but Lee knows exactly how to help me. So. She's like a dried out fish. She needed to get wet again. We're about to jump in the beautiful cold Pacific Ocean. It's never really know. nice out here. You it's never warm. know what you're going to get out here. It can either be uh, yeah. zero degrees or ten degrees. Yeah, it feels like it's going to be cold. I think it's going to be cold. Ah. Right. Let's go. We're going to go back and uh, get into some boat work. Alright guys, this is yucky. I'm just hoping I can sort of try and clean this out with actually without undoing the whole bowl. There's a layer of yuck in there. Bottom one's not much better, but that's, if you can see it, yeah, okay. that looks terrible. So I'm going to pull this apart quickly and see what comes out. I've never actually undone one of these, but they are the goods and they're pretty easy to work with. They're a lot easier than a traditional system because I always used to have trouble bleeding out the system. With these ray cores, you can top them up, put the lid back on, Job done. Uh, really simple. There's two here, so if one clogs up underway, you can switch to the next one and then service that while if you're underway. I don't know, they're just a great, great little setup. They come out pretty easy. Oh my god, look at that. That is disgusting. That's pretty bad, guys. That is like. Yuck. That's like ready to stop sort of style. Oh, yuck. Look at that. Definitely not yummy, that. The bowl ball. So I'll just see. Should like swell. I'll give it a couple more goes and see if it swells it out. Probably could have got it out with a couple more flushes, but look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. That looks pretty yuck. Look in there. That's like poop. I think someone went to the toilet in my fuel filter. Ugh. But that's okay. It's off now, so we can give it a good flush and a good clean out. Just about there, I'll give that a wipe out. I think it was definitely worth pulling apart and I'll clean up all the little remains of any rubbish in here. And I would dare say, by the look of this, after a few hours of running the engine, I'm probably gonna have to change this because I'd hate to think what inside our fuel tank looks like if that looks like that here. <sighs> Maybe able to get our fuel polished might be worth looking at. We will see. Get our fuel polished. Yeah, so we can go into our tank from where this is and disconnect it and it runs through pretty much like a filter system like that and they just keep flushing it. So they polish your fuel. In other words, clean it up. Oh, yummy. Look at that. That is disgusting. Should probably have gloves on doing this sort of work guys i just got like usual generally i have my good clothes on and no gloves just try and get straight into it but probably not a bad idea to put a set of 
gloves on. It's not the best to be putting all over your skin. Cars was watching me, he'd be right into me. Like everything on this boat, every o-ring that I come across I'm just going to replace. Um, generally these filters come with that o-ring. That's that one there. Just going to give this one little flush out because it was really dirty. So I'm just going to rinse one little bit more diesel through there. I'm going to put the filter back on, assemble it fill it back up and then I'll start on the second one. Righto. Alright, so I'm just gonna get this just a little little rinse. Nice and clean in there now. Put our filter back in. These are great little filters. They've got little handles when you come time to remove them. So I'm using a 10 micron. Um, this is an older engine. It's not necessary to go any more than that. Um, some of the modern, modern engines, I think you may go a little less, but definitely for the old Perkins. As you can see, they run on some pretty dirty um, diesel. So they're sort of like farming equipment, and uh, they're pretty, pretty durable bits of gear, which was great through Indonesia because we had some terrible fuel. But let's top this up. What's that? The engine's running and running like a dream. So it's raining today. There's been a hurricane actually that didn't hit us, but it was down in Mexico. So today, instead of putting our portholes in, Lee's been in the, under our bed. He's checking out the autopilot to see whether or not he can get it going. How's it going there? Uh, like everything I've been finding on the boat, I usually find Cut wires, this time is actually whoever cut the wire taped it up. Usually they're just left open, but yeah, so I don't know why it's been cut. I just had a look and the fuse that's on the box says five amp, incorrectly installed, wrong length, only just touching, and it should be five amp, but it was a four amp one. So I'm gonna go and get a fuse. We don't have a new autopilot unit to install, so if I can join these wires up, put the correct size fuse back in, I first establish if it's working or not. 
and there's a hydraulic unit down the back which is full of oil and doesn't appear to be leaking anywhere but the actual hoses look a bit sad so if we can fire it up and it works I'll probably just run with that for now and maybe look at just replacing those hoses which will be a cheap fix to having an autopilot because we want to remove the wind vane uh, I'm not going to throw it away or sell it it is made for this boat so I'll pack it up and put it in the back lazarette and in an emergency or if we're doing a big ocean crossing say entering the Pacific we'll probably put it back on and put the tender on the deck and it'll just be a good backup just coastal sailing we're not going to use the wind vane we'll get more use out of the davits and use on a tender we use that every day so I'm not going to sacrifice uh, the use of the davits for the wind vane when we should have an ample amount of power by the time we put more solar on and yeah that's what we're gonna do first things first I gotta go and get a fuse and see if this thing works incorrect size fuse and incorrectly installed fuse may have resulted in why they cut the wires don't know yet we'll see okay so the kids are taking off this Window because put your hand through there, Taj. What's wrong with that window? <laughs> Next one, Bella. So we're replacing all the pole holes. This one is the first one because there is no screen or nothing in there. So kids are undoing it. Taj is unbolting from the inside. And this gorgeous girl is on the outside. <laughs> what was your request? A salmon sandwich. Thank you. So now I'm going to show you guys what me and Bella did yesterday. Took all the excess crap off, cleaned it up, and got it ready to add the new windows in. Okay, something very exciting today is happening. Taj is going off on his very first solo adventure here in America. He's heading to LA. Let's hope that he comes back with some footage so you guys can see what he goes up to. But he's about we're going to go and meet. Brock, super nice guy who's offered to drive him to the um, bus station. So he's going to catch a bus to LA and then he's staying for five days, I think. So he's a very lucky boy. We are here traveling on a budget. So we packed him a, a little bit of a lunch. Bella made him some, his favorite brownies. We made him some pancakes and he's got two sandwiches. So he has a little packed lunch and we're sending him on the bus. And he's going off on some big adventures. All right, dude, where are you heading today? LA. What are you going to do in LA? Go to a conference. So hopefully he's more chatty into the camera when he has the camera because this is the whole thing. So he's got invited to a... Oh, I'm choking. So he's been invited to a conference. Taj is all about health, looking after his body, and he doesn't want to age, pretty much. So he's going to preserve himself at 17. <laughs> and he's going to go learn all the tricks on what to do. Um, but yeah, no, seriously, though, it's just about um, finding out all the new technology. So he's right into health technology and learning all the, the new things about all that stuff. So I'll let you him explain it. Hopefully he talks into the camera. I'm going to miss him. A lot. But that's okay. He'll be back. He'll be back before I know it. We've got so much work to do here and he's missing out on all the fun jobs. Thanks, Taj. <laughs> Who's going to take out the bin? <laughs> Check the mail. <laughs> Wash the clothes. All these chores. We're all going to have to pull our weight. Anyway, those two haven't been apart either, probably for more than one night, their whole entire lives. Um, so... It'll be interesting. So he's off on his own. Very exciting for him. Okay. Oh. Here's your packed lunch. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Where's he going, darling? To LA. To Hollywood. Going to Hollywood. Alright. Okay. <laughs> oh, we just said goodbye to Taj. You gonna miss him? Super sad about it. Um, 
She's going to have to do double the work because... No, no. <laughs> That's me. Child. I'm joking. No, We're all going to exactly miss you, Taj. We're going to miss you, buddy, and we look forward to you coming back. We've just filled the holes with epoxy and all the balsa core here has all had a fresh coat of epoxy. Covered our holes, epoxied them, and then I'll re-drill them once that dries. And we're ready to install some windows. But for now, we'll go over the other side, clean up, get all the silicon off, reseal with some epoxy, and then get ready to uh, put the new port lights in. All right, guys, so we're just sealing. We've got epoxy here, and we've got a balsa core, and I'm just sealing that up. This is the worst of it here. It actually was a little bit of rot I found where the water had got in. I've dug all that out, dried it out, and I'll get back to that one. And this is what this one looks like. Bella's in there at the moment. She's just filling the holes, and I'm just putting a layer of epoxy to seal all the existing timber up. That's about it, guys. Why would you put your finger there? 